Yo, what's going on guys? Michael here from MP Fitness. Thank you for checking out the newest video to the channel. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, that way you'll get notified every time we drop a new video. We're going two to, th two to three videos a week. So I appreciate any and all support as we climb towards that 100,000 subscribe marker. So comment, like, and share this video as it helps the channel in this specific video grow. So for today's video, we are looking at two different energy drink companies and we're gonna tell you guys which one is the best. All right, guys, so for the two energy drink companies, we're gonna be looking at Ghost as well as Bang. So in my opinion, these are two of the best and probably some of the most marketed energy drink companies out there. I mean, Ghost absolutely kills the social media game and Bang absolutely kills the social media influencer game. So I'm very interested to see how these two are gonna play out against each other. So what we're gonna do is throw up these two graphics right here. So we have nine different categories that we're gonna be rating each one of these companies on. So we got company reputation, we have energy, focus, taste, caffeine, the number of flavors that each company brings, creativity, so how creative does a company get with collabs, flavors, this and that, accessibility and cost. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first, category is gonna be the company reputation. So when I think of Ghost, I think of being very, it's very uh, a close-knit community, right? I see a lot of their guys that are on their takeover team that are posting a ton. They're always commenting back on one another's posts. They're very engaged with one another. And that's something that I like to see personally. Whereas with, with Bang, it's a little bit more, it's gonna come off really bad, almost like forced, right? Like you see, like they're required to post so many times, which is I'm sure Ghost is, but it's like forced to an extent, right? It's not very organic. As well as, once again, this will sound kind of creepy. The owner seems a little sleazy, a little bit of a creeper, right? Just with how he presents himself and everything else, not very honest, very, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, kind of, you know, Italian mafia, La Cosa Nostra, right? Just very, I don't know, something's off a little bit, right? So with that being said, we got Ghost right here. We can give them the green light. Bang over here. It's not bad, right? It's not like they have the FDA come in and be like, you can't you take stuff out, this, that, the other. We're gonna give them yellow, all right? Not bad, but it could be better. All right, guys, so the second category we're gonna be looking at is gonna be energy. Right, so how much energy does each one of these cans bring? Right, so different levels of caffeine, we're gonna get into that later, but how does each can hit you? They're both pretty solid, right? So with, with Ghost, you definitely get that, that kick of energy. You get that, like you feel like you just had, you know, a good amount of caffeine, a good amount of uh, antioxidants, B vitamins, that, and everything else. With Bang, it's the same thing. It's a little bit more potent, but very comparable. So for those, we're gonna go green light as well. The third category that we're gonna be looking at can be the focus aspect, right? But just something that's, in my opinion, it might be a little bit newer to the, to the energy drink world, not necessarily the pre-workout world, but with Ghost, you get a little bit of alpha GPC in that. With Bang, there's nothing in there. That's for like a focus complex, focus blend. So automatically we got red right here, not the, just that whatsoever. So with Ghost, we got 150 milligrams of Alpha GPC, which is half of the lowest amount that's recommended to actually get you anything. But at the same time, they still have that in there along with taurine and a couple other additives. So we're gonna go with yellow with Ghost. All right, so the fourth category we're looking at is gonna be taste, which is a very important category when it comes to energy drinks. Unlike pre-workout where you can just dry scoop it or throw it in with six ounces of water, you got 16 ounces to, to throw down, right? So it's not like you want it to taste bad, right? Ghost, I feel like they pride themselves on the taste of all of their products, especially their pre-workouts, and that really translated well with their energy drinks. So with Ghost, we're gonna go green. I haven't had one of their energy drinks that I absolutely didn't love. So with Bang, we're gonna go with yellow. Although they have a lot of really awesome flavors, like this right here, we got Radical Skedaddle. They have a lot of flavors that are 
they sound really neat, but when you actually like pop them open to drink it, you're like, what? Like, no, like strike out, right? Are all the flavors like that? No, it's kind of split down the middle. So we got a split down the middle review with it, yellow. All right, next category, we got caffeine, which next to taste is probably going to be the second most popular category that we're going to be ranking. All right. So with Ghost, we're looking at 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a decent amount for an energy drink. I think Zoa had like 180, some have 150, some have 80 milligrams, 100, and everything in between. Bang, we're looking at a solid 300 milligrams of caffeine, guys. 300 milligrams. That's almost pre-workout level. So with all that being said, with Bang, we're going to go with green. Ghost, we're going to go with yellow. So once again... They're very, it's very close, very competitive, but a hundred milligram difference. That's almost a cup and a half of coffee difference between each one. So let's move on. The number of flavors. So with Ghost, their energy drinks are pretty new, right? So they only have six, seven, eight flavors, maybe, maybe six or seven flavors. With Bang, they've been around for a while and I feel like they're coming out with new flavors almost every week, right? I mean, some of the flavors, what is it, like Miami Cola, we got Radical Skedaddle, you have the Rainbow Unicorn stuff, like, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy, right? So, with that number of flavors, you're going to have more options with Bang than you are with Ghost, so we're going to go green and yellow. All right, creativity. For me, this was a big one that I want to look at, and I feel like they're both creative, in their own special ways. So Ghost does a really good job with collabing with a number of different from companies like Sour Patch Kids, Sonic, with Chips Ahoy, and a number of other different companies. I, I think Jelly is like Grape Jelly as well, which is like, like crazy, right? So with that, they definitely get a, a little bit of a jump when it comes to creativity. With Bang, even though they don't do any collabs, the creativity of their flavors are really interesting. Like I said, we have Miami Cola, you have a bunch of different ones, Frosé Rosé, Radical Skedaddle, uh, Key Lime Pie, and the list goes on and on. But for me, like this was close, but just because you have a lot of flavors doesn't necessarily make it creative, right? So green, we're gonna go with Ghost. Bang, we're gonna go yellow, right? Creative in their own different ways, but for me, is this is very subjective. I think that Ghost is just a little bit more creative than Bang. So accessibility. How easy is it to get your hands on, on their products, All right? With Bang, you get them literally everywhere. Harris Teeter, Target, Walmart, GNC, online, Amazon, their website, everything else. With Ghost, really it's on their website, it's at GNC's and a couple of other different small supplement stores. Like here in Raleigh, you could also get it at All Pro Nutrition and a couple of places like that. There is no shortage whatsoever when it comes to getting these. So like, uh, like ZOA, right? Very hard to get, very, I feel like, quote unquote, exclusive for some reason. And yeah, it's just different. Right, but with these, you, you can always find them and you can always find the flavors that you want. So we're gonna go two green lights on this guy right here. All right, and last but not least, we have cost. So how much does one energy drink cost you for each one, right? So for Bang, you get a little bit cheaper. It's about $2 to $2.50. With Ghost, you're looking at about three, 350, usually right around 350 at GNC. So, for the cost, we're gonna give Bang a green light and we're gonna give Ghost yellow. Once again, it's very close, but one had to be a winner. So with all the scores right here, right? It was very close, separated by one point, right? So we got 23 points and 22 points. For 23 points, we got Ghost, which barely, barely nudged ahead. And with Bang, we got 22 points. So. Very close, they both are great companies. Came up with a list of nine different categories that I thought were objective and subjective. Everything is gonna have some kind of subjectiveness to it. And try to give you guys my honest opinion for these right here. Like I said, I drink both of these all the time. Just depends what mood I'm in, if I want a little bit more caffeine or if I try to wanna get a little bit more of a focus. Depends on the time of the day as well. 
I also don't want to drink 300 milligrams of caffeine past like four or five o'clock. Whereas with 200 milligrams, it's fine to drink it a little bit later in the day. So those are my ratings for each of these companies. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want me to compare in our next energy drink review or a pre-workout comparison review. So comment down below what you guys want me to, to do. I appreciate all the support. Subscribe, hit that bell, get notified. I appreciate you guys. You're killing it. And I'll catch you guys next time.